All right, so let's do a quick show and tell. So we've got a back pull preventer here, and so the big, big thing I want to talk about is how you make your winterization a little bit easier. So you can see the ball valve over here with the cap on it. Now most people say, oh, that's easy. You can just hook up and blow through there, as opposed to going through one of these test cocks. Except that is before the back pull preventer. So I won't personally touch any of that. Just same with quick couplers. If it's before the back float, but you gotta remember our number one test cock is always on the inlet side of the first isolation valve. Um, I won't touch them because you can't have hose bibs stop and waste, at least where I'm at, before the back float. It needs to all be past the back flow, so past your second isolation over here. But on a lot of modern back flow preventers, they have, um, I always wanna say AN, but they're flare fittings. So these test cocks have a flare fitting, it's really hard to tell, but you can just kind of see the pitch on that one. And then the old test cocks were just quarter inch female pipe thread. So on the top of back flow, the pipe, the on top of the back flow, the, the uh, back flow assembly or body is uh, eighth inch, and then these test cocks are quarter inch on top. And then you have these flare ones. So a lot of times I've seen these watch back flow preventers, this test cock with a quarter inch female iron pipe thread is over on the number one and then this number one is over here. So if you switch these two around, you'll get a way better or more efficient winterization on a residential system. It won't work on commercial because you just can't get enough air in through these things. But it's, I found it'd be easier to use, to use these than to put a, a union on the top of that flare test cock and then try and inject air. It's just too small, this is perfect. So. Easy way to blow something out if you can't get a quick coupler in there or if you're dealt a bad hand and have your have somebody puts a quick coupler before your backflow.